I'm Alexis Reese. Last summer, I investigated the effects of food concentration and timing on the symmetry of larval sea stars. Bilaterally symmetrical organisms, those that have one axis of symmetry and left and right hand sides that are mirror images of one another, sometimes exhibit what's called fluctuating symmetry, small random deviations from perfect left-right symmetry. Often these little differences are due to random disturbances experienced by an organism during its development, maybe a different temperature experienced on one side and not the other, or not enough food for the organism to grow normally. Fluctuating asymmetry is linked to fitness. Asymmetrical organisms tend to be less fit than those that are perfectly symmetrical. Now, typically when we think of sea stars, we think of them as being pentaradially symmetrical, meaning they have five axes of symmetry, one along each of their arms. But that is just the adult phase of sea stars. Sea star larvae, the young, are bilaterally symmetrical, like us. They have one axis of symmetry. I hypothesized that food stress would cause fluctuating asymmetry in sea star larvae. So, for example, if they only received algae, the food that they eat, later in development rather than earlier, or if they only received a small amount of food instead of excess of food. I tested this by using pre-existing photos of crown of thorn sea star larvae. These larvae were reared under six different treatments. Three were given high food concentrations, and the remaining three were given low food concentrations. One from each of the high and low food treatments were given food starting at three, five, or seven days after fertilization. The larvae were then photographed after 12 days, and using those photos, I measured the left and right larval arms, the anterior dorsal and the posterior lateral arms, and compared each side to quantify any fluctuating asymmetry. I did not find any correlation in between asymmetry and the high and low food treatments, nor across the three, five, and seven day treatments. This indicates that there was no connection between fluctuating asymmetry and the food concentration and timing. However, the experience did allow me to perfect my image analysis skills for future research for my honors thesis. Thanks for listening.